Welcome to Teaching and Learning Hub. Hi everyone. Today I'll tell you how to teach prepositions with the help of different activities. Let's move towards activities. The first one is the classroom cost. What is that? The classroom cost. Teacher will select one student from the class and he will be a ghost and will ask the rest of the students to look carefully for all the things in the class and then go out or will request students to go out for five minutes. The ghost will change the places of different things. They will come back. They will work in the pairs and use prepositions. For example, the bin is in the wrong corner. It should be behind the door. The pen is near the window. It should be on student's table. And it would be a great fun activity for students. Number two, use of realia. Teacher can bring any object like ball, book or teddy bear and ask students to use prepositions with the help of it. For example, the students can place teddy bear on the chair, behind the chair. So, he, they will ask, where is the teddy bear? The teddy bear is between the tables. The teddy bear is on the chair, above the whiteboard, under the chair or in front of the door. It means the students will give response and in this way they will learn prepositions or the use of prepositions. Another interesting activity is what's missing. It's a memory game that helps to practice prepositions for example, teacher put a tray with different objects, 5 to 10 objects in the classroom. She will give students 10 minutes to study the objects and the tray. Then she will move the object or change the place of the objects or remove the objects up to her choice. Now she will show the tray to students again. They will find out what is missing or changed. For example, the pen is no longer on the tray. The cup is next to the marker before it was behind the book. Number four activity is use of flashcards. Teacher will bring apple and caterpillar flashcards in the classroom. She will place apple in the middle of the whiteboard and will give caterpillars to different students to come and paste around the apple or on the apple or where they want to near the apple. When they will be done, teacher will ask uh, the rest of the class where is the first caterpillar or they, they will give response like the first caterpillar is on the apple. The second caterpillar is behind the apple. The third caterpillar is inside the apple. The fourth caterp caterpillar is below the apple. So in this way, they will be able to learn preposition. Another way for using flashcards is teacher can bring tree flashcard with the help of uh, with the help of a glue stick or the scotch tape, she can paste on the whiteboard. Now she will uh, paste different birds around the tree and they can use the prepositions like the bird is coming towards tree. The bird is flying away from the tree. The bird is near the tree. The bird is on the tree. The bird is in front of the tree. They will be happy to use flashcards and will learn prepositions. The fifth activity for teaching preposition is I spy look out. Teacher shows different objects, flashcards and pictures to students. The students are going to find these objects because these objects are hidden in the classroom. Students will go and look for it. When they will be done, they will be able to find, they will let class know where the object was. 
by using propositions. For example, the first flashcard was of pouch. One student has gone and he has found it. So, he'll come back and he'll say, the pouch was on the right side of the door. The cap was behind the chair. In this way, they will continue this game. Number six activity for this is strike a pose. Teacher will strike a pose and stud uh, have students make sentences. For example, they will look at the teacher pose and they will make sentences. If the teacher is looking on the right side, they will say, you are looking to the right. Your hand is on the top of your head. Your left arm is behind your back. The left leg is on the chair. So, in, so it would be a fun activity for them. Last but not the least, activity is finding propositions. Teacher will make a worksheet with a reading passage and ask students to circle the propositions in the reading passage. These activities, I hope so, will help you in your teaching. Thank you so much. Good luck. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Click on the bell icon for more updates.